This is a quick demo video showing some of the features of PrestaShop, our e-commerce system. Here is a quick demo site that I've set up with some demo products and some pictures. So let's say I was looking, I'm in the market for an iPod. There's a cool feature with this search function of the site where you can actually just start typing in the words and the search will automatically show all the different options that are available. So let's say I wanted to look at the iPod Touch, we just select that and it takes us straight to the product page for that product. Now for each product you can have multiple images and users can actually just hover over the images and the main picture changes. If I want to see um, sort of a zoom in of the actual product, I can just click on a picture and I'll get an enlarged version. Each product can also have different attributes, so for example sizes or colours. This particular product comes in different sizes in terms of disk space. So we can select different options. And we can also answer in the quantity that we would like to buy. The system also comes with inventory management. So for example, this particular product, we have 50 items in stock. So if someone was to buy one, they'll automatically reduce down to 49. This also helps if you've got um, particular products that you can't order in, it makes sure that people aren't going to order more than you can actually stock. Okay, we'll have a look now at some of the other products available. So, so I thought mm, that one was nice, but I want to have a look at a couple of other ones. Let's have a look at the iPod Nano. So, same with the iPod Nano, it can come in different colours. And we can actually select the colour that we want to buy from here as well. So I could say I want to buy the orange one and it updates that picture so I can see exactly what the orange one is going to look like. There's also pick a colour options here as well. So you can actually use this which also changes that as well there. Now I'll show you another example of um, a site that uses so this client sells decorative cast covers and they come in a range of different fabrics. So with this one, you just scroll down and say, oh yeah, I would like the yellow one. Click on yellow and it changes the pattern down here and you can add it straight to your cart. Some other functions that you can add into your system are things like send to a friend, print friendly versions or view full size of the images. Okay, we'll go back to our demo. Now another thing you'll notice here you can actually have products on sale and you can even have a special section of your site which displays all the sale items and users can actually sort it so if they want to look for what's the cheapest prices and they can go, oh fantastic, excellent, I want to add that to my cart or get more information. I'll demonstrate, oh, another cool feature is recently viewed products. So say I decided no the iPod Nano isn't what I was actually after I want to get the iPod Touch I can quickly jump back to any of the previous ones I've viewed all right let's go through the process of actually adding this to our cart so I go yep I want the 8 gigabyte model I want to just get one add that to my cart Up here we can now see in our cart that we have one product and we can click on the cart link to actually view what's in our cart. So we can see we've got an iPod Touch, this is the price, total shipping estimate, any taxes, 
And you can also set up your shop so that if people spend over a certain amount, they automatically qualify for free shipping, which is a great way to, to sort of encourage people to buy more. You can also have special voucher codes. So people just type in a special code here and add it to their cart to receive their discounts. Once we're happy with what we've got in our cart, just click next. And we'll be asked if we want to create an account or if we already have an account if we'd like to log in. So let's create a new account. So we just enter in our email address and click create your account. It asks you for some basic information. So your name, email address is already in, password, you can also have <coughs> special birthday offers and get people to enter in their birthday. People can sign up for newsletters or special offers. The form also automatically fills in any information we've already entered before. So we already entered our name up here, automatically pulls that down here. We can enter in any additional information, we can enter in our phone number, our mobile phone number, and we can also assign a title for this one. So sometimes you might have different addresses that you want to ship to. I'm going to call this one my home, and I could add a separate one later for my work address or to send to a friend's house. Once I register, it also automatically sends an email to my account to confirm that registration. Next step is to choose a delivery address. So automatically it puts in the same address for both billing and delivery, but you can actually add additional addresses if needed be, if they want to send it to a different address or send the billing details to a different address. Users can also enter in additional comments, so they might need to put special in shipping instructions or something like that. On the next page, we've got a Terms of Service tick box, so users actually have to confirm that they have read your Terms of Services, which they can click here to open in a little pop-up. You can have options for recycled packaging, whether you want that or not, and which different shipping options are available for that particular location. So for this one, we've got Australia Post and Express Post, and these are totally customizable. You can enter in whatever carries you want to use, whatever information you want, and a different price for it. So for this item, we'll just go with our standard Australia Post, and we'd like it to be gift wrapped. So we just tick this little box, and we can add a little gift note here as well. On the final page, people can choose how they want to pay. So this setup just has a couple of basic options. So people can either choose to pay by a check, by a bank wire, or by a PayPal. You can also set up a different option here if you wanted people to be able to pay cash on delivery or, or pick it up from your store. Now with PayPal, that'll actually allow people to pay via their credit cards. Now, I'm not actually going to purchase that, but I'm going to show you what happens when somebody makes an order. So that order we just made there, it doesn't make it to the orders thing because we haven't actually paid for it and clicked submit. It does, however, get stored in our cart system. So under customers, we can see that new account that we just created. And if we go to the cart section, we can see that Kay Youngman made an order for that amount was going to use Australia Post and pick this date, but they haven't actually hit click submit yet. So this can be an interesting way for you to follow up with your customers um, why they didn't actually follow through with their purchase or suggest additional products to them. When the order does actually go through to the final stage, if it's automatically paid by a credit card, it will let you know once the payment has been accepted. If they choose a different method such as check, it'll say it's awaiting check payment. And you can actually go in and update that once you've received the payment. 
and you can update it again once you've actually delivered the product so you can manage everything in the one system. And that's pretty much the basics. It automatically generates all your invoices, delivery slips, credit slips, um, emails, all that as well. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks.